Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve high memory usage on behalf of the SVC host process on your Windows 10 computer. So if you open up Task Manager and you seem to be having really high memory or disk usage, this tutorial will be for you. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, and you want to type in Services. Best match should say services right above desktop app. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now you want to scroll down to get to the Windows Update Service. Right here. You want to right click on it. And then left click on properties from this context menu. You want to set startup type to manual. So click inside this drop down menu right here and select manual. Then click on apply and OK. You can close out of the services window at this time. Now basically what this will do is it will not necessarily turn off Windows Update, but you're just going to have to check for updates periodically. I recommend doing that at least once a month. Just set a notification or just try and go about reminding yourself to check for updates every once in a while. And if you're just looking to manually update your computer, just open up the Start menu, type in Check for Updates. Best match should say Check for Updates right above System Settings. Left click on that. And then just select check for updates right here, and that'll begin the process of manually going out and checking for updates. In my opinion, it's a better solution than having Windows updates continuously running in the background. And since most updates are released on Patch Tuesday, the first Tuesday of the month, it really is no need for it to be continuously running, especially if you have antivirus software, user account control enabled, web filters, and whatnot. As long as you have a layered approach to your computer security, you really should be okay to be honest with you, but in this brief tutorial should be able to help cover the immediate impact of high disk usage. And as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.